Uh-oh. A woman? What the? Phew. That was a while. And now we have another cutscene. <laughs> ah, man. The new version of Minecraft eliminates all these crazy cutscenes. <laughs> uh, the mechanical monster faces you as you approach the bars. Are you patient 106? You ask. The creature speaks. Patient 106. He is not here at the moment. Though that is debatable. Confused, you continue. All right, then who or what are you? And where did patient 106 go? Where he went is, again, debatable. Who am I does not matter. What matters is that I'm behind these bars and it is in your best interest that it stays that way. I put myself in here. It is not yet time to come out as to what I am. Well, you tell me. What could I possibly tell you about what you are? You ask. I've never seen anything like you in my life. It's as if you're a machine, but I've never seen machinery like that before. You're like something out of a storybook. The monster chuckles. <laughs> I've been reading your stories. I know you have too. But the question is, do you know that? You stay silent. As I said before, it continues. It is not yet time for me to leave this cage. You're not done here yet. I believe you came for something in that chest. You'll find the key to the security office on the second floor. You'll find your way from there. This conversation is over now. For the time being, at least. Okay. Uh. If you say so, uh, robot, if you say so, is that the Silent Hill dog? <laughs> is this the Silent Hill dog? That is literally the Silent Hill dog, dude. From, from like, uh, I think that's like a, I don't know, like a funny ending from like, uh, I think, which Silent Hill? Silent Hill 1, I believe. Uh, like, like the first Silent Hill game. Uh, oh man, I forget it. But man, I remember that. I remember that dog. Hopefully I'm right or else I'm just sounding crazy. Let's go ahead and take this uh, fire resistance potion so we can get past here. I don't think we'll have to come back here ever again, which is honestly very awesome because I don't have enough potions to keep doing this. I really don't. This is my last one. Well, actually, after this one, then my last one is in my inventory. Okay. The sanitarium. Second floor key. Here we go. Okay, uh, fire. Thank you. Jeez. All right, well, the rest of the second floor collapsed on itself. <clears throat> wow, convenient. Security office. Oh my god! You almost had me. Jeez, you are a freak. Gotta be some way to kill you. Uh, okay, knockback would probably be a way. I don't know if I should use strength on you. Come on. Come on, come over here. Dummy. Come on, die already. There we go. I don't know if that guy was supposed to be here, but, uh, doesn't matter he's dead okay I think we're clear gunpowder now I just need some sand and I can blow up the that doorway to the cemetery speaking of gunpowder was that creeper supposed to be here or did he just spawn because of the darkness medical wing key we're finding so many useful things and it's honestly overwhelming just a little bit it's a little bit overwhelming but it's a good thing we're finding them Go ahead and take that and let's go ahead and take this because we're gonna need to read that oh heck yeah i will take that any day of the week don't we need like sand or something okay let's go ahead and put this on all right to 
the cemetery. It is. Oh yeah, that's right. The uh, security head diary. So Alexander Sever didn't make it out. Things just got a whole lot worse for us. Sever was the head guard up in the residential area of the castle. So if he were accused of treason, there's no doubt the rest of the guard force is being watched very closely. Luckily, I don't think word got out that Sever already contacted us here in the hospital wing. We'll play it safe. I've told my men what the deal is. We're just going to keep our mouths shut and do whatever is asked of us. We'll hit hard when there's an opening. If there's an opening, that's right. That's right. If there is a opening, if there is no opening, then, you know, we want hit hard. We want hit as hard. But if there is an opening, we'll hit really hard. I'm kidding. I don't know what I'm talking about. The medical wing key. I think I know where this goes. I think I do. I, I believe so. I believe so. Actually, I don't know where this goes. I know where I'm going, which is not over there. Medical wing library. All right. I believe that's it. Okay. Almost freaked me out for a minute. Thought that was a monster right there. Nope. Wrong thing. Oh, great. There's monsters over there, though. Inside the... Whoa, look at that moon. Oh. You guys saw that moon? That was awesome. As expected, lots of medical books. Some go into a bit more detail than I'm comfortable with. What? Are you saying they're talking about nudity in the most explicit way? Is that what you're saying? What do you mean more detail than you're comfortable with? Please elaborate. I'll take that and I will take those. Uh, burn treatment. What? I know people uh, back in the day in these site wars used to do these essentially torture methods in order to uh, quote unquote help the people. When treating burn victims, it is important to make sure that the airways, okay, they're not actually doing the torture, are always open as smoke inhalation can be just as lethal to the person, especially if the breathing took place in an enclosed space such as a house. Many factors must be constantly maintained after this is done. Monitoring pain as well as body fluids and nutrition intake, along with other bodily functions, is essential in making sure the patient is always as healthy as possible while being treated. Okay, that's great and all, but that's not very useful for me. Hey, 